Hello, my name is Lucas Gresson. Today I'm going to talk about my article, The Neuroplasticity in Spinal Trauma, Current Narrative Review of Treatments. We wrote this article by April and May of this year. And today I'm going to present this article along with my colleague Vinicius Benach. He's going to talk about the discussion and the results. Uh, the neuroplasticity is a condition that is present from birth, being found in the central and peripheral nervous system, which involves the nervous system capacity of regeneration and adaptation, always related to environment. Our paper defined it and showed forms of it. We discussed it about some pathological pathological conditions and some different ones. And that this is a very dynamic process. The axonic plasticity is a process that not necessarily needs an injury involved. We can have some environmental influences that stimulates the nervous system to adapt for the occasions and along with the regeneration process, which means that we have a previous injury. We can assume that this is the way the nervous system consolidates the nervous circuits, always according to the environmental influences. One of the forms is the function, which involves the process of recovering and improving this function. In this situation, the earlier you start stimulating it, the better it becomes. For example, musicians that start stimulating our abilities in the childhood have more chances to become a more skillful musician compared to the ones that start later, playing later. Otherwise, an overstimulation can cause a pathological process called maladaptive function, where the overstimulated sites present a cortical fusion, causing several symptoms, as a dystonia syndrome. Musicians, for example. So here we have the differences between the central and peripheral nervous system mentioned. And well, talking about the spinal cord injury. The spinal cord injury occurs between two hundred and fifty thousand and five hundred thousand people per year, caused by traumatic events. First, the mechanical forces such and displacement cause the disruption of cell membranes, blood vessels, and destroy local neurons of the cells. This process induces a cascade of chemical reactions and neurological events, leading to a secondary injury, a receptor initial injury. The secondary process causes oxi oxidative damage due to the oxygen, damage mediated by calcium by overactivation of cell functions. Apoptosis, hemorrhage, inflammatory process, and local edema. The secondary process results in axonal degeneration, demyelination, and cavitation at the injury site. Beyond that, the elevation of neurons and oligodendrocytes depths results in positive regulation of axonal growth inhibitor factors at the injury site, disturbing the process of regeneration just after the trauma. Well, we can classify the spinal cord injuries as ages A, B, C, D, and E. The type A injury is a complete injury. We have no sensor or motor, motor disturbed below the level of the injury. The type B is a sensory incomplete. The sensory but not the motor function is preserved below the neurological. And no motor function is preserved more than three levels below the motor level on either side of the body. The age C is a motor incomplete. The motor function is preserved below the neurological level and more than a half of, of key muscles functions below the neurological level of the injury have a muscle grade less than three. The type D is a motor incomplete too. The motor function is preserved below the neurological level and at least half or more of key muscles functions below the injury site have a muscle grade 3 or more. 
and the type E is normal. Either the sensation and the motor function is preserved. Most patients, most patients who are victims of spinal cord injury have residual edges of white substance spread on the peripheral margins of the spinal cord. That represents about one of ten percent of the original amount of tissue. These axons are hypomyelinated or demyelinated, indicating that the remyelination and the plastic reorganization would be necessary to achieve the functional. A spontaneous improvement occurs in the majority of patients, between 60 and 80 percent, with partial preservation of motricity, suggesting that the spirit projections can undergo in spontaneous plasticity on the process. Only 20 percent of Asia A patients exhibit any spontaneous improvement in one year after the injury. Other side, Asia B, C, and D patients show very high rates of spontaneous improvement in function compared to the beginning. Analyzing these statements, we can accept that the process of regeneration and neuroplasticity are related to the amount of neural tissue preserved in the trauma and its consequences. Where the more original tissue preserved, the better result it brings. Well, here we have some pharmacological and use duralazine, clonidine, cipreptidine, levodopa, Baclofen, metuprednisolone, as a pharmacological treatment. And for the non pharmacological treatments, we can, we can use stem cells, delivery of drugs, and other substances by nanotechnology, nanoparticles, and polymers. We can use medullary supports, and we can use monoclonal antibody. The objective of this work was to define the term neuroplasticity and show other forms of it. Highlight some pathological and non pathological conditions and comment on the state of neuroplasticity in terms of its treatment in the process of spinal cord injury. Well, for the material and methods, well, we use the PubMed platform to search and review articles and originals on the subject of neuroplasticity, central and peripheral. Neurogenesis, spinal cord injury, as well as the treatments that were performed for the cause. Articles from 2000 and 2020 generalized articles prior to this date that address neuroplasticity only to understand the molecular mechanisms were in link. Articles that were not in English and studies in animals and humans that address the pathologies were included. The forms of treatments for spinal cord trauma and with qualities from V1 to A1. We use the two books, two, the Neuroscience of Mind and Behavior, and the Neuroscience Third Edition, you say, Sinauer Associates. And the descriptors used in this article were neuroplasticity, neurogenesis, spinal cord injury, regeneration, secondary injury, nanomaterial, visual cortex, and stem cells. Now my colleague is going to talk about the results and discuss Hello, my name is Vinicius. Now, I will address the results, discussion, and the conclusion of the work. After spinal cord trauma, several molecules are re released as a re result of, uh, of the trauma. Uh, Try during a secondary spinal cord injury, characterized it as a chemical injury re resulting from oxidative stress. 
Here's my example of a, a, mo a molecule in the chlorine, uh, which is re 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 released after lipid peroxidation of the myelin cells after trauma, which is cytotoxic among others. Some uh, structures also form at the side and uh, end up preventing neuroplasticity that would culminate, culminate in regeneration for functional recovery below the level of, of the injury. Other examples of molecules are shown on the slide. Cur currently, the in inhibitory mechanism related to NOGLA, myelin associated glycoprotein, oligodendrocyte, myelin glycoprotein, semaphorin 4D, and chondroitin sulfate proteoglycans are better now than other mo mo molecules. That doesn't mean the other mechanisms aren't, aren't as well known. Despite the great knowledge of in inhibitor pathways, a greater understand understanding of the inhibitor mechanisms that occur during the neuroplastic process is still needed to propose an adequate treatment method given the complexity of these mechanisms. However, some, some main ways were studied uh, sorry, were studied to seek a functional recovery below the level of the injury. So on the next slide we show some forms of treatment for spinal cord injury. Um, many drug trials have been performed to promote adequate neuroplasticity to achieve true re regeneration at the injury site or fun functional recovery below the injury level. Studies involving clonidine, ciproheptazine, levodopa, farminopidine, GN1, dangliosite, baclofen, and methylprednisolone were performed, performed and re re reviewed for this purpose. Hydralazine has an uh, antihypertensive effect and evades other, other tissues when administered intravenously or orally abruptly re reduce a blood pressure requiring direct application to the site of injury to in inhibit a re responsible for secondary tissue damage to the nervous system, showing itself effective in treatment. Clonidine administration has also been shown to be effective in straight is treating the most severe spinal cord injury, and um, its effects persisted after drug elimination. Ciproheptazine also uh, benefited patients with more severe spinal cord injuries, facilit facilitating uh, lo locomot locomotor initiation or training by re reducing <laughs> sorry reducing um severe spacity and muscle bonus in addition to clonidin treatment with level dopa associated with a uh, locomotor training um a locomotor training proved uh, to be effective in changes in voluntary muscle strength, walking function, and activities of daily uh, living, and when 
compound to the placebo. Compound to placebo, which was also associated with lo locomotor training. There was no difference in improvement. The interpretation of, re of re re results and the conclusions were, ha were hampered after the uh, application of the doses. So, um, so for aminopidine and uh, its effects in the treatment of spinal cord injury are not clear. In contrast, treatment with GM1 diagnosis was shown to be beneficial in patients with chronic spinal cord injury and quite efficient in increasing motor scores after GM1 diagnosis application. Studies, studies with uh, methylprednisone, a synthetic uh, st steroid, show that this drug re re reduces inflammation around the injury site, be surprising the immune system, in addition to having a neuroprotective effect. Evidence for the efficacy of bicofen treatment is limited, but an increase in functional independence measuring uh, FIM gate scores has been shown after bicofen use, but with minor gate changes. Change. Based on several pharmacological treatments, which will be uh, discussed shortly, no pharmacological strategies have been proposed to try to re reduce them. Uh, treatment with uh, stem cells in the spinal cord regeneration process proved to be effective since those cells replaced the nerve cells that died as a result of the injury also promoting the inhibition of the defense cells, for example, uh, thin leaf acids, and that contribute to secondary spinal cord injury, secrete, secrete uh, trophic factors essential for neural growth, uh, such as a brain derived neurotrophic factor, or BGNF. Uh, well, um, well, in addition, the um, serum, no, I'm sorry, in addition the association of stem cells, um, with super paramagnetic iron oxide and nanoparticles, or SPI on NP, facilitates the roaming of stem cells at the lesion site. The treatment involving nanotechnology consisting of a uh, coability for of nanomaterials to increase uh, bio viability and circulation time at the lesion site, proven them proven with methylprednisone uh, and hydralazine. Many, st many studies prove that treatment involving hydrogel nanoparticles is uh, effective for the regeneration process of neurons. The uh, through uh, progenitor cells and the axons at the injury site due to the mechanical properties and the structural architecture that make them a good option to present endogenous fa factors to the injured spinal cord. In addition, poly polymeric nanoparticles such as a PLDA have the characteristic of regulating the release of drugs from the delivery system and at the same time providing an adequate structure for the tissue, which can protect drugs against degradation in addition to increase their stability. Other nanoparticles were studied, such as iron oxide, uh, 
o ferrolho aqui exit or f a and a um, glicoquitosin or g c and it was observed that the first one favors to to the roaming of music and stem cells at the spinal cord injury injury site in a mouse model with spinal cord injury uh, the spinal I'm sorry in a mouse model with spinal cord injury uh, the later two bank neutrals neuroprotectors favoring using flu recovery after spinal cord injury um, the treatment with spinal cord support has been studied in, in, in rats and it has been found that this support can bind to immobilized signaling mo molecules or drugs for controlled delivery of therapeutic agents in provoxonal regeneration uh, provide an appropriate size for cell for cell adhesion and migration of transplanted cell cells re regulate the local micro, micro environment and protect a neural progenitor cells from the inhibitory effects of CNS myelin after spinal cord injury. Uh, furthermore, there were combinated if you grow factors or uh, hybrid extractors that in a, in, incorporate tissue cells favorably repair at the spinal cord injury site. Monoclonal antibody EIN1 has been localized only in the central nervous system to inhibit a part of the meaning that that must inhibit a uh, novel to provide for proper neurit outgrowth at the injury site in any part of the central nervous system. After performing IN1 application at spinal cord injury on site in the cortical spine cortico-spinal tract there was an improvement in regeneration as well as extensive uh, but in, in addition the anatomical plasticity such re results were also found in spinal axons no limitations were reported regarding the use of these products however in relation to spinal support, some limitations were taken into account, which will be addressed in the slides. They refer to the cancel of the work, as well as the side effects of pharmacological treatment. Uh, well, more re recent studies involving nanotechnology have used more uh, sophisticated treatments with other drugs. Uh, these forms of treatment were developed with the same uh, purpose as other previous studies, which are the reduced inflammation at the injury site by increasing anti inflammatory cytokines, neural inhibitors, and toxic molecules, and reducing gliosis and other chemical damage in addition to promoting neuroprotection and increasing growth factors. Uh, the, the features were seen in the previous slides, however, a new filter could be observed. It is a characteristic that is a delay divided into two, two parts. Uh, the first being the sele selective cytotoxic, promoted by the association with good nanoparticles, Jugans regia extract and the antiepileptic zonizamide. The second is about the cellular selective action, 
more specifically on on type 2 astrocytes uh, A2 during the the curves for the presentation this will address more clearly uh, now we will cover the side effects of pharmacological uh, and non-pharmacological treatments mentioned on slides 10 and 11 uh, most pharmacological uh, approaches prove it to be efficient in improving motor and sensory capacity below the level of the lesion, but some side effects and limitations uh, re re regarding the use of monoaminergic the drugs uh, include the clonidine, c and levodopa. And levodopa and the others mentioned above were evidenced, showing that they are sometimes more harmful than beneficial to patients. Say the effects of monoaminergic medications are uh, ranging, ranging from mild to severe, consisting of a xerotomia, uh, increased urinary frequency. Uh, fa fatigue, uh, dizziness, uh, constipation, decreased urge to urin or ur 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 urinate, increased appetite, uh, numbness, altered sexual function, nausea and vomiting, re re red head, red head, and subjective de decreasing head head, is strength, hash, dizziness and dry mouth in several patients who were treated with these medications or with these drugs. However, uh, these side effects are not only re re reported with the use of monoaminergic drugs. They, the use of uh, foraminopyridine led to the development of nausea, dizziness and difficult sleeping. In 50% uh, of the patients, and it was also withdrawal due to several side effects, dizziness, weakness, and uh, regression of wall walking, intolerance to those of uh, 40 mg of medication, and develop development of uh, transient symptoms include um, dizziness, redhead, and flu-like symptoms. The use of baclofen shows symptoms of overdoses in high doses re resulting in the hospitalization of patients. However, however, this side effect was seen in a minority of them. In contrast, no side effects have been reported for the use of GM1. Studies involving androlazine and metoprednisone also demonstrate different side effects and limitations for those already mentioned. The adequate concentration of androlazine may not be re re reached in vivo. Uh, since after uh, intravenous administration of the drug, a peak concentration equivalent to um, 0.5 and 1 mi micromolar is expected with a half-life of 30 to uh, 60 minutes. Furthermore, acronym concentrations are much higher than the peak hydrolysis concentration and are not sufficient to neutralize acronym. Uh, the drug can also induce a vasodilation due to its antiparticy mechanisms. Uh, a no beneficial effect in patients with spinal cord injury as they are in a neurogenic shock in addition to the drastic drop in blood pressure involved the uh, one late Cyclase re re receptor, which is coupled to the G protein. 
um, in the instrument muscle. Another problem involved uh, duality is the development of Altamont case. Uh, lupus dynamification development of uh, antinuclear antibodies and the accumulation of a chromium protein uh, adducts ca captured by duralazine in the body whose eff effects of this ac accumulation are not clear. Um, the use of MQ prednisone uh, despite showing positive effect instead of the hands in the 20th century, proved to be harmful to patients in prolonged use it and in high doses. Uh, Kian and colleagues conducted a study in which they used amicuprazinzone as a form of treatment. Uh, they should apply it the protocol recommended by the NICE 3 trial which re recommends a specific doses of pinkiprazinizone uh, at certain time, uh, which recommends specific doses of pinkiprazinizone at a certain times. After its use, patients were found to develop a acute corticosteroid myopathy. In addition, other complications were re reported and consisted of uh, gastric uh, bleeding, sepsis, pneumonia, and uh, wound infections. Uh, regarding the um, non pharmacological treatment, there were um, no limitations regarding the use of uh, the stem cells and nanotechnology. However, in relation to spine support, some limitations were taken into account. Depending uh, on the material, the cable support may not be efficient. Um, Nijat Koshik and colleagues ana analyzed the most common spinal support used to treat spinal cord injuries, separating then into natural and uh, synthetic uh, materials. The main natural products consist of agarose, alginate, um, ketosam, fi fi fibrin, and others. Uh, the, main, the main limitations of natural products are problems with the ma 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 materials biodegradation, which can be rapid or no existent. Uh, the, um, for example, in, in uh, agarose, fibronectin, and uh, methylcelidose, the fragility of the support itself uh, in the fibrin, for, for example, and problems with its our re re regeneration and neuroplasticity. The, the limitations of synthetic materials are that they are not biodegradables. In, the, in, the, in this case, the materials of a PEG and do not provide adequate axonal growth. In this case, uh, PLGA and materials are examples. Other synthetic polymers in addition to those already re re reported are being studied of maximum use to the field of biomedicine. Some of them, such as Apollo, uh, alpha hydroxyethers, polyhybridin polymers, polycaprolactin, and poly, is an example of propylene fumarate, fum are being te te tested or manufactured be because they are good candidates for the controlled delivery of me medicines in addition to their possible use for the purpose of a tissue engineering such as poly poly 10. 
they have different uh, derivations and co compositions, some of which have their main limitations related to an polynomial alcohol which presents incomplete de degradation. Um, but which has characteristics that facilitate its transformations into hydrogels. However, some stand out possible however some stand stand out positively in the field of degradation, such as a polyurethane which presents a uh, different patterns of degradation include hydrolysis, oxidation, and an uh, enzymatic process. In addition to degradation, there are other obstacles found in some of, of the polymers, such as the difficult handling of poly at room temperature as a polyhydrid polymers that have limited life high reactive and instabilities of the main deficiencies. No other limitations were found in handling degradation and edibles. Furthermore, no side, eff no side effects of these polymers have been reported. So, they study as with the treatments mentioned on slide 12. Where experiment, uh, experimental studies in heart models, which will be explained better now. Um, heart models, uh, heart models were used to demonstrate functional re recovery of the uh, phrenic nerve after spinal spinal cord uh, incision using nanoconjugates. Um, However, another acid I meant to inhibit the novel protein a receptor um, on axons and promote a possible functional recovery using metoprednisone. In this case, the um, MEP140 peptide complex uh, with association with metoprednisone to promote the uh, regeneration is uh, in uh, and promotion functional re recovery using making pride in Um, in another way of thinking, an experimental study involved good nanoparticles repelling in a extract of the uh, Jagons radia and an antiepileptic drug donizamide was carried out to measure the effectiveness of this from form of treatment. Um, they said they show that the drug release is very controlled and very excitable. And, and in the last year, uh, three studies were published and discussing new, new, new perspectives. Um, so, they use uh, nanoparticles uh, PLGA with PLGA and a uh, 17-bit uh, or E2 of um, the treatment increased the concentrations of vascular and arterial growth factor and uh, anti-inflammatory cytosine, uh, IL-4, um, IL-10, and IL-13, and axonal neurofilaments protein levels. Um, furthermore, there was in increased uh, glutamine uh, synthetase, reducing the uh, excess of uh, glutamate and uh, ammonia to promote neuroprotections. Another study, study involving PLGA, was also carried uh, out for the treatment of spinal cord injury to propose a new method of delivery of the antioxidant and nanoparticles involved dogs. Um, in this study, um, most limitations were re re reported, so um, the limitation consisted of not performing complete uh, complementary tests for a more rigid uh, treatment 
and if weight control to the the diet do, do they of uh, antioxidants and the complement system. A promising student published in January of last year demonstrated a selective efficacy of anti-inflammatory called Rolly Plan uh, delivered by hydralazine hydrogel nanoparticles in limiting a uh, pro-inflammatory response mediated to astroxy activation in a mouse model of spinal cord injury, but the other disease with uh, an astrocytia based glial response may also gain from the selective therapy, therapeutic approach. This delivery strategy can also be considered for other molecules capable of promoting neuroprotective astrocytes, providing a specific therapy treatment to uh, ameliorate SML and other neuro neurological disease when intensively te tested, uh, tested in a heart model with spinal cord injury there was uh, an improvement in motor perform performance but only in the initial place after the injury re reducing astrosis and preserving neural cells the, pre the precision evidence the selective cellular action that uh, was also mentioned earlier. So, in conclusion, the physiological barriers that, that prevent neuroplasticity are already be, being overcome with advances with the treatment of spinal cord injury. Uh, combined uh, treatments, pharmacological and uh, non-pharmacological, is the most appropriate was for the functional recovery of patients with spinal cord injury, as they act differently in different locations of the injury. In the near future, more studies are to be published and the combined treatment may be achieved uh, for patients with a uh, spinal cord injury. Uh, if this occurs, access to treatment must be free and patented uh, at a lower cost in order to improve the quality of life of all patients with, with spinal cord injury. We appreciate the opportunity to participate in the conference, uh, so this slide is a reference to our the, the presentation. So um, a good week of thank you so much.